Okay, we have here another integral on the board from the MIT integration be from 1991, problem 19. We have the integral of 1 over 12 plus 13 cosine x dx. Okay, I thought it was kind of interesting how they set this up as I mean, we would like this to be, if this was the same number here, if we had 12 and 12 or 13 and 13, we could factor it out and that's not too bad. So I think what I wanna do in this case is a half angle substitution. What I'm gonna do for this, is I'm gonna make my substitution, we'll use t and we'll set t equal to tan x over two. And of course, this seems like a pretty strange substitution. In a previous video, I derived all the formulas. What we really want to do is we want to get a value for cosine x to plug in here, and we're going to need a value for dx. So what we found in the previous video was our value for dx is going to be just 2 dt over 1 plus t squared. And for a value for cosine of x, we have 1 minus t squared over 1 plus t squared. We also found a value for sine x. We don't really need it here, but our value for sine x was 2t over one plus t squared. Okay, so let's just go ahead with this substitution now. So first for dx, we'll have this value here. So we'll have two dt in the numerator. For the one plus t squared, I'm gonna bring it all the way out here because we're gonna to need to multiply it into the denominator. So we'll write it like this. We'll have our 12 plus 13, and our value for cosine x is one minus t squared over one plus t squared. I'll take this two and I'll bring it up front of the integral and we'll rewrite this. So we'll have two dt, then we'll distribute in this one plus t squared. So first 12 times this is gonna give me 12 plus 12 t squared. Then the one plus t squared is gonna cancel with this one plus t squared. I'll distribute it in this 13 and we end up with plus 13 minus 13 t squared. But then we combine everything in this denominator here. So what we're gonna end up with is 12 plus 13. This is gonna give me 25 here. 12 t squared minus 13 t squared, we end up with minus t squared. But now for this integral here, we'll just do this with a formula. Okay, so we'll use this formula we have over here to the right. And so in this case, 25, we can write this, this can be written as five squared. So our A value is gonna be equal to five. So then we'll just use this formula. So we're gonna have two over five, inverse hyperbolic tanch of our variable T over A again, which is just five. So then all we need to do is back substitute in order to finish this off. So let me get some more space. So for my final solution of this, we're just gonna have two over five, Sorry, this is inverse tanch right here. Inverse tanch of tan x over two, all over five, add a plus c, and that's it. Okay, there you have it. Good example of the half angle substitution. Thanks everyone for watching. Have a good day.